today I'm going to look at a printer. This is just a reasonably bog standard home printer, an Epson Stylus Photo R200. If we look at the moment, it is plugged out, so obviously consuming absolutely no electricity. If we zoom in and have a look at the electricity meter, you can see it's currently reading 0, 0.0 watts. I've got a two to three pin adapter on it because uh, it's a two pin meter and it's a three pin plug. So I'm gonna plug in the printer, turn it off and we'll see it pull some power. Okay, printer is now plugged in and turned off and you can see it's pulling 0 0.3 of a watt. Not huge, but it's still pulling it even turned off. However, when we turn on the printer, and I just zoom back and look at the printer now. Press the green light at the top. The printer will start up. We go into its cycle of testing and spinning and so on and so on. And we'll see the energy use go up. It'll fluctuate for a while until the printer settles down. And you'll see it'll settle in and around 6 watts. Still working, still going backwards and forwards. The belt is pulling the drive. And okay, I lied, it's settled around 4.9 watts. So you can see right there a huge difference between the 4.9 to 5 watts of power the printer pulls when it's turned on but doing nothing. If we pull back, you can have a look at the printer. It's just sitting there, not attached to anything, and it's pulling 4.9 to 5 watts. So right there, immediately, is an extremely good reason to turn the printer off at the very least when you're no longer using it. It should still be at that 4.9, there we go. And now, turn it off again. Goes up for a second and then drops down to 0 0.3. Of course, better again would be if it consumed nothing. Putting out the plug or turning it off at the wall.